How's it going boys and 3.5% today we're gonna be looking at an angel deck and I probably know what you're thinking angels didn't receive anything that big that great so why are you paying attention to angels all of a sudden while that is true that they didn't receive any super big cards angels did receive some minor cards and these minor cards are kind of well made because they fit what angels lack they added Fountain of Hope, and this card is pretty good. It ramps up your angels in power, and more importantly, it is a ramp card. You can add one white mon to your pool, and you can use it to cast an angel spell. Essentially, it's a turn two, uh, turn two, turn three, and you can cast it, uh, a four cost. And furthermore, angels received a little bit more sustenance with all of that. They 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 received this inspiring overseer this card is not really good but it does two things gives one life which is pretty important for angel decks most of the time and more importantly draws you a card now all in all with just a uh, fountain of hope you probably think this card is bad because honestly it is but then they added also things like a uh, metropolitan angel and i would like you to notice the mana cost for two uh, to any mana one white one blue to any man, one white. Everything they added works perfectly in tangent with the uh, the Stanheim aspirant. Previously, this card was pretty bad, but now they added angels that draw and further your uh, card advantage, which is a pretty big deal. So obviously, these angels have low HP because you know they're quite powerful already. So these cards kind of made angels really really viable in some degrees now i'm not gonna say this is the perfect deck but i do think that it could potentially be possible with a pyre to make a extremely high tier angel deck nowadays this is a three color deck because we're using uh lisa and you know the this thing so a little bit blue and black is necessary i did add a lot of fancy cards like co uh like cosmic elixir the uh, doll house and cigar the savior and restoration of a gunjo which is great by the way this card for angels is also really good because now you can block the early game and not to worry too much about things and still have an amazing late game overall I think with this expansion, Angels have received everything to round up their decks to a very powerful state. You have board wipe uh, immunities, you have ways to resurrect them, you have life gain, you have all the things. The questionable thing probably people are looking at is a Voice of the Blessed. Is it really necessary? I'd say yeah, because Voice of the Blessed is 100% uh, gonna eat some of that removal. Plus, we could technically remove the Voice of the Blessed, or maybe remove one Voice of the Blessed, or whatever, and add something like a, this bad boy of a card. Anyone remember this card that terrorized a ranked for, well, a pretty long time, Pyre of Heroes? I have not begun to test it, but I do believe that it is most likely possible to make an extremely strong angel deck with Pyre of Heroes as its center lichpin and dollhouse and whatnot. Because angels now have ramp. With this and this, you can combo out expensive angels on turn 4 or turn 3 even. And that was the big thing about angels. If you're going heavily into memeing angels, then how do you survive until the late game? These cards kind of now fix everything that the Angels had. Is this the best deck out there? No. No, probably not. Definitely not, in fact. And also, by the way, Voice of the Blessed kind of synergizes really good with the Overseer because it's also a cladic. Uh, this is a cladic. You can also mix a little bit of cladics for early game and still be extremely fine with it. Honestly, I should probably add one of the one costs, but I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We we have so many options here to mix and match. That's why I'm saying that I haven't finished it all completely. 24 lands to be specific, 3.1 average mana cost, but when you have technically 7 mana rocks in your deck, it's not really a big deal. So with that being said, boys, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and uh, see what happens now, shall we? Uh, my waifu, yep, the right deck. It, it did have initially the five cost plane, planeswalker inside of it, so, you know, 
that's that's the box art right there but again i'm not saying that this is going to be the best stick it probably can you lose to a lot of things especially arcane but bondment yesterday's video everyone pretty much commented yeah that card is absolutely broken why the hell did wizards even make it and this is not bad because we go first we can drop that and ramp and you, you know what i say to that i like it we're not going to be able to use this, but it's fine, technically. Ooh, good mana, good mana pull. Definitely good mana pull. Okay. So you see this? Pretty powerful, right? Play a turn uh, uh, four cost angel on potentially turn... Okay, it didn't happen, but... Well, you know. It is what it is. Uh, I'm going to use... Actually, no, I am going to still... Ooh. I could voice of the bliss now. No, 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 no. Wait. Okay, let's drop this. Honestly, I'm not even 100% sure what's the best strategy to rely on. That's why I'm kind of strange in taking these turns. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to sack the Righteous Valkyrie or the voice of the blessed? Or what's my play here? Because I honestly... Ooh, drew a, draw a card. I like it. I like it on each end. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I, I kind of like it. We're getting land flooded. But honestly, for our deck, is that even a really bad... Th Oops, wrong card. Wrong card. But is, th is that really even a bad thing for our deck? He's going to be stuck removing us for ages at this point. Because Voice of the Blessed... Ah, I was kind of thinking that there's a low probability that that's a real thing that's gonna happen. That there could be zombies in this. There are! Damn it. Should I attack? No, I'm not gonna attack. A little bit land flooded, yeah. 50% land draw. If we draw... Ooh, oh, ouch. Oof. Stop comboing, please. Thank you. You know what? I honestly no long... No, I'm gonna do this. The Voice of the Blessed is not gonna get any value out here, so it's kind of fine. Plus, honestly, like, getting it back with the... Uh, with the Restoration. So it should all be fine, right? Ooh la la! Look at that, boys! He's popping off, we're popping off, everyone's popping off and having a good time. Ain't that something? Uh, not gonna drop one more of these, so this is fine, and... I guess I'm attacking with both. Oof, that's a lot of lands, though, on, on, on each one. Can you please stop? Technically, I'm not too worried, per se. If he doesn't get rid of this, I'm still gonna draw a lot of cards, so that's kinda good. He did get the Necrotic Fumes. Did this work on zombies or non-token zombies? If it's a zombie card, you may... Dies, look at... Oh, wait, this is the dies. Oh, I'm not scared of this one. I thought it's the other one. Okay. Oh, and he is a zombie that he just was really unlucky to... Okay, that's bad. Necrotic fumes. What a time to be alive. Do I even care if he attacks with this? Oh, he doesn't even attack to begin with. Okay. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna drop this as blue. Why not? And I can go... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Obvious things I feel are obvious. And now we just need to uh, wait until we actually acquire one of our big, uh, big cards. And this guy could be potentially dead because zombies typically don't really have many ways of removal. They kind of just swarm the board. They don't have any real life gain most of the time. And they don't really have too much removal in them. Not attacking does seem strange, by the way. Another... G this, is that three genes? It is three genes. By the way, I'm not sure it's called gene, but... Sue me. Okay! Admittedly, this guy... Well... Oh, look at that! He's trying to be cute and shiz. Didn't work out, huh, chief? <laughs> What the hell was that? What? Also, I should probably use a man land or something, but but no, I will not. I am I am I am not a filthy. Wait, that does not work fully. Um, 
I'm still gonna probably draw something epic. That is arguably not the play, also. Ooh. Okay. If that's his removal choice, then he can't do much against this, so... Absolutely fine as a bun. Yeah, he sacks it, big deal. I'm pretty sure I win next turn anyway. Unless a miracle happens. He could have blood on the snow. Now he doesn't have snow land, so no blood on the snow. Again, everyone who uses this is just dope. Are you kidding me? Okay, and now it's top decks. Wow. <laughs> That's so bad, though. Oh, yeah, sure. He did... Oh, sure, he... I, I guess... Oh, look at that, it's a lane... Yep, top decking and I'm land flooded. Oh, top decked and land flooded. We have more... Wait, do we have exactly a 50 or 55% land draw ratio? I'm not even sure, but uh, look at this. Uh, he's drawing non-lands, I am uh, drawing lands, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I drew useless cards. Yep, yep, I yeah, pretty much just drew lands. Sad, there were so many ways I can win this, but top decking just just absolutely pound town us. Also, he had a decent land draw ratio, we had a bad one. Yeah, it is what it is. Sad. No, but seriously, sad. We had a dollhouse, we had so many options there. And no one can tell me that, well, you shouldn't have played it. Yeah, no, I should have played everything. There was no reality where not playing everything was the call there. We saw that he pro- We saw that his only removal was that thing and he doesn't use blood on snow. The chances that he just magically pulls out a meat hook massacre for perfection, kind of the low, a low hanging fruit play there, chief, you know? So, yeah. This time we have a dollhouse, and we have the pyre, which is pretty good. Well, let's just drop it like this, and let's drop it like this. I am probably gonna just... Wait. Again, if this is Arcane Barbarment, we're gonna lose so hard. Probably, because he most likely can't just remove the stuff, so... If I play this, I can next turn it. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's also pretty good. Uh, play it as black, you know? Okay, now drop this. I want to see what happens. Our next turn could be potentially glorious. Because we could go into Righteous Valkyrie plus Pyre. And that's a big deal, right? Interesting. Dragon's Fire. Are you a loser who didn't make a new deck because you're afraid to make new decks and you don't watch any YouTube? There, there are some people like that, by the way. They are gonna be playing the old decks because they 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 have they don't watch any YouTubers and they they are too afraid to make. Not that they can't make, but they are literally too afraid to make new decks. Kind of the insane thing, huh? But it is. It is what it is. Okay, this is currently look looking pretty good. If I get to... If I get this to 5, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> is this just a retarded crab deck? Dude, it, the everyone who plays, everyone who has the majority of their games played as is it, should be banned. Prove me wrong. Pro tip, you literally can't. Because is it is just the color of losers. It is, de by definition, the absolute color of fucking losers. Side coming. Wait, is he gonna perfectly control me? If, the, if, if he perfectly controls me until the point of the dragon, that's gonna be pretty sad and bad. Not gonna lie. Uh, how do I do this? I, I need to probably... Ooh. Okay, okay, let's force... Okay, we're not gonna use Dollhouse of Horrors because he used Scythe Coming, which is bad news bears, obviously. So, do this. 
Sag this. Get, get another angel out. Create a lot of things that he wants to remove. And then see what happens. Jesus. He, he just gets the egg and he just gets away to, uh, perfectly. That's so stupid. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that, that's just fucking dumb. Okay, let's hope for the best. He's gonna use every resource he currently has, admittedly. To try and uh, deal with my board. So, Dollhouse is gonna be free real estate for all intensive purposes. And with a usable graveyard and everything, we can do some things. We can do some things. Spider of Heroes was definitely not the worst card we could have acquired here, right? Yes! No, wait, that's bad. I can't, I, I, I can't block it. He has three cards, six mana, because, you know, overpowered cards are overpowered. They, they should have just banned this and completely crippled. There's not a single person in Magic or in any game who likes playing against Izzet. There's no one. This is just the most annoying stupid color. It bounces, it counterspells, and it always gets overpowered cards on perfect curvature. The fuck is this? Oh, he's just not good. No, wait, he could use it. Oh my god, don't tell me he's actually gonna get it. Yep. He's, he's ditching the Righteous Valkyrie, but that's good because that, that was kind of uh, uh, in the expectancy zone. That was in the expectancy zone. And there's... Are you shitting me? Wow, of all things. That is severely depressingly impressive, huh? Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? He's literally... There's no better hand for this loser to have. Oh, it, pi it pisses me off. He gets he gets this, turn 2. Then he gets the perfect uh, windfall on turn 4. And then he supplements it on turn 5 with the dragon. There is no world where that actually is dealable with. Admittedly, we still have it. Oh, yeah, sure. Draw land, why don't you? Okay. Well, what are we doing? We're doing stuff. That's what we're doing. How much stuff can we do, though? Uh, I'm gonna go for this. Because this is gonna draw us uh, cards. <laughs> and that's important at this moment. But man! And a land. Are you kidding me? Again. Uh, ag again with the stuff, huh? Okay, sure. This. He's probably gonna need to get rid of that, so it's kind of fine. Okay, what am I supposed to do? He He's legitimately most likely dropping uh, some kind of card that completely seals the deal next turn. I don't see a world where this... Because look at this. 50% land draw, he had a perfect hand. Man, that's just stupid. <laughs> that, is, that is so infuriating. Yep, I told you, he's gonna drop something that just seals the deal. Why? Because we still are in a very high win rate from yesterday's Arcane Bombardment deck. And this is Wizards just evening out the 50% win rate odds. And a Prismatic Commander. Yep. I told you he's gonna absolutely seal the deal. I know how this goes. I know how this looks. This is textbook forced loss. Your hand was capable of something, lands interfere with your plays, and then your opponent just... He, he had everything perfect. He literally had everything uh, down, perfect down to the wire. Oh boy. Wow, that, that, that's sad. That is absolutely sad. And this is why I hate Is it players. Because is it is the deck that you face so often when you are forced to lose. Is it is, is it is one of those 
one you're gonna face is it when you're forced to lose because an is it player by definition is gonna have a negative win rate because they're morons and then and and then the the game wants them to continue playing because you know f f fuck a healthy game state i guess and it, it just gives them the advantage that it just gives them the win because you know why not at this point right at least we got a good opener here Oh, interesting. Oh, this all this gives us options. Okay, it doesn't matter really what I play in what direction now. It's good. Let's see what this is. I haven't played against this color combination. It has the it has a pretty interesting three cost. Right? It's the picture of the guy sitting on the steel beam. It's some kind of I don't remember what American building it was, but it was some kind of monumental building. The New York City something? Don't remember. Doesn't honestly matter that much, by the way. Okay, do we drop this or... Now we drop this because we want to go and uh, see how much we can do. Also, kind of more aggressive, technically. And our next turn is going to be a little bit... Oh, wait! Actually, it's a... No, it's not awkward. Because I can, I can tap her. Yeah, I can tap her. It's fine. If he has removal, he's using it to get rid of Righteous Valkyrie. Oh, I hate this. It's so much. And all, and even if you're not, if, even if you're against in a game where it's not a forced loss against Izzet, you're still going to be dealing with a on curve 100%. Uh treasure hoarder dragon what 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 the hell was it called the five cost bullshit you know essentially the the five cost absolute bullshit card uh, i guess i'm gonna play it like this he just kind of ruined us he really did huh sacrifice a creature playing to take control of the highest mana value okay Hmm, still on almost a 50% land draw ratio. We're gonna see how the- If we get- If we get another draw- I am removing two lands. If we get another land draw right now, I- I am gonna remove two lands. Also, ouch, like... Please- And I'm cons- I am removing two lands. This is too much- This is 50%. What's the point of having ramp if I'm drawing a 50% land draw ratio, wizards? What's your problem? Puts in mana stones. Doesn't get the mana- Well, I did get the mana stones, but nothing to supplement the mana stones with. Yeah. I'm just- I'm just gonna remove two lands and call it a day. <laughs> There's not even- That's not even a question, yo. Come on, let's go, let's go, and I'm gonna remove obviously this, obviously that. Admittedly, it doesn't matter too much, and now I'm just gonna add two more of these and it's gonna be fine. Maybe there's anything else that we... Nah, let's remove one of these, right? Let's remove one of those and... Another voice of the blessed for sax? Are sax even good? You know what, considering considering we're all we always got No, 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 I'm not gonna add resurrection. Oh what a pain. What an absolute legit pain. Okay, let's keep it 60 in that case. I am so furious. Le legit furious. Legit furious. Okay, now now let's see. Well, now let's see an opening hand with one mana wizards. I, I dare you to do it. I dare. I double dare you to do it. Let's see an opening hand with one mana now. Three, that's good. Uh, why was I so convinced? Because there is this thing when you run twenty four lands and you remove uh, remove two or three lands. There's there's a very high random likelihood 
that you're gonna queue the next game and have one land open it. I don't think I don't know why that is, and it balances out later on. But when you remove two lands from your deck, you kind of you kind of see a lot of first times playing after with just one opening land, which is strange to say the least, because it doesn't make sense for a concept like that to even exist, right? Uh, let's see. How do I want to play this? Probably like this. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Right, just into this or this? Oh, okay, okay. Kind of saucy. I like it. I like it. This allows us to do this and that. Also, this allows us to sit. And now it's a he. he probably didn't have anything to play and he probably only had a land because what I just dropped wasn't exactly scary god I swear that the matchmaking is just so apparently bad time to time there are days when the matchmaking is just extra sad you know usually it's kind of sad ish but there are days when matchmaking is like legitimately the most saddest thing ever Wizards probably saw the Arcane Bombardment video and didn't appreciate the fact that I called them incapable morons of allowing a card like that to go through. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault, Wizards, okay? It's legitimately your own damn fault for making a card as blatantly OP as that. Don't blame me for your mistakes. It was visible to pretty much almost everyone who plays Magic that that card is blatantly broken. And what do you do? Well, you just print it like, and don't don't even care. Okay, we're gonna probably bait removal because this is a discard deck, right? As long if if this is a discard and I keep Cosmic Elixir up up the snuff, it's gonna be good. Yep, that's this card. So yeah, if I drop uh, the elixir, yeah, that's pretty good for dropping elixirs. Also, it's gonna be a pretty good power play. As long, yeah, as long as he just discards one card, I drop an elixir and I pretty much win. This card digs just out all those against drop, passive draw. Well, at least most do. Maybe this guy's special. I doubt it though. Doctor Goss. Huh. Oko Avatar pleb. No card back. A dumb animal thing. That's the stupidest bear I have ever seen in my life. Come on. Come on. Everyone knows that this is a forced loss for you, my dude. Yeah, that's that's very not impressive blur, I'm not gonna lie. I could technically He's gonna go for the savior because there's already because there's too much value in it if it procs, right? And I can proc it. Oh my, he actually didn't go for it. Ouch. That that's a little bit hurtful, not gonna lie. Okay, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's black. And then do this. Okay, good enough. Next turn I can pump pretty hard. I'm not sure what his removal is. He has snow lands, which means I need to be very of some, some things. I wasn't... I thought that you... I, I forgot that you choose what to discard with this. Either way, pretty dumb card. Pretty weak card. Okay, I'm gonna keep... No, I'm actually gonna play everything. We have so much late game. That's why I'm pissed about the first loss. We, we we came to the point where it's top decked, and the guy top decked probably the most aggressive play that he could, and I top decked lands and do nothing cards. Okay. Admirable. He definitely has blood on the snow. And the problem with blood on the snow is the fact that he has this card, so not playing this is a bad idea, right? Not playing that is a really, really bad idea. But, on the other hand, what, what what can I actually do? I can go for maximum HP with... Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what? Go for max HP, I guess. Block with these two? Are you kidding me? Still weak. Uh, I All I need... To, like, legit, all I need to do is just... Wait, what? Did this not work on creatures? Yes. Oh, it's Duress. Stupid art. Well, it's all, it's all, it's his fault for choosing bad art. Everyone knows that in Magic, if you choose bad art, I'm gonna do this. This is like extra dexter now stuff, right? <laughs> uh, 13 HP, 13's lucky number, boy. Pardon. He's either going to drop a land and wipe the board, or he's going to do nothing. What, what kind of options even is that, honestly? We, should, we, we do have technically also every advantage here. Too bad I couldn't force this deck to be a lot on... Well, you kind of can force it to be a lot on life gain, but... Is it going to work? Questionable. Why, hello there. Didn't expect to see you here, Liliana. How you doing, girl? Probably good, because, you know, Lily's a killie. Uh, play that, and resurrect nothing. Play this, and acquire the dream. Okay, so, first, of all, first things first. You go there, you go there, you go there. Okay, good, 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 good. And after, do I want to keep this or do I just want to go further and beyond? Wait, should I have done... Uh-oh, wait, why am I attacking with the voice of the blessed? Because I clicked attack with voice of the blessed. I know, rhetorical question. Damn it. Well, now we have a lot more value of Sagar the Splendor. And no one can tell me otherwise. Also, Sag. Pretty sad, but we just drew a card, so, you know, the, the the more value for removal. And I'm gonna not... Now, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play it, why not? A balls to the walls, if he has a, if he has this card, which he most likely hand, has, this doesn't mean anything, and, you know, it doesn't change. So, there we go. He could shift this, though. I could, yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm sacking this, uh, yeah, I'm sacking that, yeah, for sure, uh, sure, sack, s s sack it is. That's still a lot of, that, that, dude, that's still a lot of deeps, yo. I am gonna, uh, yeah, there's no way, even if he wipes the board. Okay, so he has a choice, he wipes the board, and I play this. He discards the card, and... Most likely can't wipe the board, and that means I'm just gonna value town over all over his face. And I like value ta towning all over someone's. Another Reed Hook Massacre! Is this even real life at this point? It it's just there. It's just there, and it ruins everything I love in life. What what what's the deal? Also, let's do it like this. Not gonna go for two voices of the blessed because reasons. Even though it wouldn't technically be bad, it would technically be smart even. Uh, but, I am a man. I am a man of very low honor. But that's not the point. The point is, need, need the text. I'm still here! Stop wishing I'm dead! Oh, he conceded. Not nice. Not dead. Stop. Stop commenting that I, I'm dead, finally. I'm not. Still here. Stop. What? What? Why do you get wish to get rid of me so fast? I understand you can't stop watching the channel and you don't know why. Black magic, by the way. You pretend you didn't hear that, also. But yeah. Good luck, my boy. Good luck. Stopping this. Everyone comes back. It is what it is. 
everyone always comes back. Why? Because I mentally enslave people. Mostly with black magic. Not hard nowadays. Not hard nowadays. Shweb. Wow. That's a bank's name. Well, almost a bank's name. Close. Close. Is someone playing on the official bank account? Is someone playing on the official Magic the Gathering bank account? <laughs> ah, that, that's too niche. That's, that's way too niche. Esoteric, one might even say. As... What, no. We can't say that. Okay, what's happening to Archer, by the way? Is the new season coming out? When When is things happening? Every... I won't, I won't say everything uh, collapsed apps after God's Word, but... Oh, wow. Are you serious? And then against the Silesnia deck that goes first. Oh, you, you wizards, you shouldn't have. You literally should not have. No, seriously. Piss off. Okay, do this. Decent turn four. A lot of lands. Is this one fourth in my, of my lands already in my opening hand? What a time to be alive. Well, 1.25 out of 4. Yeah, that's how many lands. Oh no, actually 1.25 out of 5 in that, that case. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh no, I... Oh, no. Well, it doesn't matter. I just figured out how many lands I actually have. Anyway, uh, that's dangerous. AK, I can't do anything with that. Good to know. How about it? Uh, how about yes? Good. Now drop the thing that reduces uh, mana costs. Do it. Do it. Drop. Oh, I guess I guess that's also fine. Kind of showing me whom wizards loves more. Trash. Okay. I have a f Oh, another land. Oh, well, now. Can, the... The... Do you think... A 60%... Do you, do you think wizards is favoring this person to win the game of cards? Here. You know, giving it a trample, then reducing that, and then playing this, and we're absolutely land screwed. The, the, does anyone else think that maybe, oh, wow, that's a 70-ish percent land draw ratio plus there. Very nice, very nice. That, does anyone think that Wizards already has chosen the winner of this, this absolute amazing game of Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I definitely think so. <laughs> oh, just drop a hollow haunting or something, dude. Just, just, just drop the hollow haunting, okay? I want another one of those, you know. Wah, wah. Why not? How about a third one? Well, no third one. Oh, such a bad players. So, what a great card! What, a, what a great card! 10-10 with Trample, turn 4. Do, do, will I draw? Oh, I didn't draw land. Wow, what a time to be alive. Okay, I did draw something that's useful, not gonna lie. Does the... Now, this... Yeah, this does not still help me survive. Okay, so I block with just the Righteous Valkyrie. There is a small chance of survival now because Liza is Kiza. Uh, but probably not because he's probably dropping two more confinement circles or some shit like that. Or, you know, another one of the these non overpowered things. Ah. Oh. Sure, le let's just go. <laughs> Stop! Wizard, stop! It's dumb! I can't even... Yeah, I need to block with this. Which is sad, because that does not give me any advantage. Is there anything I can draw that helps? Sure, a land, why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure a land is gonna be... 
Uh, yeah, the 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 land's probably the p the the p the, the the land's probably peaking right there. Okay, attacking is pointless. Maybe there's a world where something good now 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 we we know better. Admittedly, I could play this and I could play that after. So, is there a chance? No, actually no, because this is five. There's no way. Well, I can block that and then I can not do anything because now i can't even attack and yeah reasons i guess well that was an experience to say the least uh six shit i can't actually do it like that i need to block it like this and then i need to block it like that two Two, seven, six, okay. Uh, somehow, I, I am gonna survive this. Yeah, that does not make me feel better, though, about my situation. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that's a card. Well, yeah, it, it is a card. B big, big deal, though. Yeah, and now I have even less uh, HP to work with. Oh, look at that, I got a thing. Yeah, this, th this... I can bet this guy has a negative midnight. <laughs> Every time you just see such an inhumanely forced loss... Like, look at this. I am laying flooded with... What? What is this? Six and eight. Eight? Yeah. Now, now we're stabilizing. Yeah, the last few draws were not lands, but it's already too late. It doesn't matter if your average stabilizes after a while. You you still were absolutely cucked. And this guy, look at this. Four lands, two commies, two of these things. Uh, by the way, coming into uh, the truth is the most aggressive thing in the game. And then he drops this. You know, because if if I kill this, if something magical happens, he still can get the Kami. And then, then he still can apply this to the Kami. Well, one mana off, but I'm sure he's gonna get it. I mean, watch him drop one mana. See, I told you. I know exactly what this game does. Because that is the safety precaution. If something magical happens and this guy fucks up, he still gets the Kami back and then... He can just uh, use this on the Kami. So I have literally no chance of winning. Oh boy. Wow. So many great losses. So many great losses, Wizards. 10 out of 10. But yeah. Angels can most likely be improved to be a very high tier deck. Admittedly, we did not get any value out of... Uh, the cost reduction card, which is kind of sad because you can legit like pop off in some situations, but you know, you you can pop off pretty hard with the aspirant in some situations. You can play this after on turn three and something else, but sadly again, that kind of did not happen. But uh, you know, all in all. It wasn't that bad, considering, well, we did experience a bunch of forced losses. Anyway, this was Quizzer since then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.